So yeah. the biggest yeah. thing that's happening this week without the golden arm is Mindaugas Starositis versus Engin Terzi. Yeah. We are super excited for this matchup. I don't even know who is going to win. I'm super confused about everything. There's this picture where Engin was in hospital a little bit ill, and I'm like thinking, okay, now it's favorite to Mindaugas. But Engin can post that picture just to, you know, mess with his mind. And, you know, <laughs> it's, uh, we don't know that. It's it's uh, <laughs> so so much uh, work have done before this. Yeah. Engin and Mindaugas, they both are have done their job really good. We all with all this trash, trash talk, talk and, yeah. and the discussions before and and it will be the first uh, ranked match in unified rating of Armstrong. Yeah. So it, yeah. it's a big deal. First match and it will go in in a rating system. Yeah. We were talking before that uh, it's. It's that some some of those big organization organizations like uh, WL or or PAL or or someone else should should come and have this match uh, fight under. Yeah, and PAL took it. That's yeah. what's happening. Yeah, uh, that's that's how it should yeah. be. Yeah, it's it's a really big match in World of Arm Wrestling. Eng in Terzi, Mindaugas Tarsitis. Yeah. It's 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 for B for lightweight for middleweight yeah. arm wrestling for everyone for quality arm wrestling. If you're yeah, if I, you're a fan of the sport, it doesn't yeah. matter. It shouldn't be just heavyweight. So ah, just when when, when I saw fire final in in the Zloty Tour, Mindaugas about yeah. against Engin. Yeah, that's that's a very much I, I, I was waiting for. Yeah, that's really I really want to see this fight and, and uh, it's 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 really like just. Engin wanted to have the rematch. He did yeah. it, and after that, Paul picked it up and helped them with. And now it's going to be Lebanon versus Turkey as well. Mm. Some super matches, and uh, it it will start in uh, about uh, seven uh, p.m. local time. Uh, we don't know yet yeah. about uh, February links. nine. Yeah, so it's Saturday. 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 We are hoping to watch it and maybe do some uh, commenting from our side. So we we will see how that works out. But yeah, no promises yet. Mm. We asked some questions to Engin and, and uh, Mindaugas and uh, we will show you the video. So you watch the video and we're going to talk about it uh, <laughs> later, guys. So um, we're going out and uh, yep. enjoy the video. Hello, everybody. Uh, big thanks to Raymond and Yanis for being interested in my vendetta with um, Terzin. I hope you will all enjoy it a lot. Uh, I will try to answer a couple of questions from uh, from Yanis and Raimonds. Uh, and it works, so I will make it quick. And the first question was, uh, who do you, who do I think is the best lightweight arm wrestler in the world at the moment? I will assume it's a 70 kilo class. To make it more simple. Uh, it has to be Makarov. Yeah, he won worlds and Europeans many times in a row already, and uh, I know he's losing a lot of weight, and he will probably be competing in 75 this year. He's also genetically modified, but uh, you know we cannot have any excuses. He is the best at the moment, so. As of now, I think that uh, the best lightweight, which you mean under 70 kilo, uh, is Mindaugas Tarasaitis. It's not because he's the strongest, but he has uh, very good technique, he is well-rounded, he is healthy and strong guy and smart guy as well. So I think that, you know, not the all-time best, but today's best, I believe, is uh, Mindaugas Tarasaitis. Next question uh, about Terzi. Who do I, what do I think is uh, his uh, weakness and uh, strength? Uh, I have been told that uh, his endurance is not best, and I also felt that. Yanis told me that uh, as soon as we stop, uh, stop Terzi, he would uh, probably become as strong as a 12 year old girl. So I'll believe him and uh, hope for it to happen. His strength, on the other hand, is uh, the big hit, like off the off the go hit, which is hard to stop. Uh, I even had to sacrifice my wrist uh, during Zloty just to have a bigger hand chance to stop that hit. The weakness of Mindargas, 
um, I think him to be overconfident. That's his weakness. Okay, let me see our questions. Most amazing strength feed and also most historic uh, thing which happened to me in Armarsley. I think it's, uh, I can answer, I can say the same things to both of these answer questions, which is uh, I was able to beat Makarov last year during Worlds in the finals at least once. I couldn't quite finish him in the second match, but uh, I still think it's the biggest thing which I was able to achieve. There are many crazy things, you know, I did in my prime time about the physical performance wise. And I think, you know, I can tell you one of them that, you know, uh, on a pull up bar that, you know, we locate between the door entrance, you know, you just turn it and then squeeze it there. I was able to do uh, pull up on my uh, finger fingertips with one hand in this position. The, the bar was coming to the fingertips and I was in this position. I was doing one arm uh, pull up step pull there and I was about 60 to 63 kilo then. It was 1998. I think that the most historic thing that happened in my career was uh, me to win World War Championships in 2018, which is 24 years after my first world title. So I think that it's the most historical things, you know, to have uh, 24 years uh, between my two world titles, the first one and the last one. I haven't decided uh, which song is going to be there when I pull Mindaugas. I mean, it is important, but not that important right now. What can I do better than 90% of the people besides arm wrestling? I think I can bounce the ball while I'm sitting more than 200 times. I think I can do that better than 90% of the people. Also, I can make flower arrangements since I'm a florist. Probably better than 90% of the people. And I don't know. Depends on what you call alien, you know, I believe in the existence of some other creatures than us or other things that we see around, but I don't call them aliens, they are, I believe, devils and angels, and if there are more, I don't know, but I believe in angels and devils to be existed. And do aliens exist? Yes, of course. Have fun, guys. See you in few days in Turkey. So, so what do you make of all this? <laughs> so, first of all, thank, thank, thank you guys for, uh, yeah, for 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 uh, for responding. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mindaugas didn't answer the whole all questions, and I asked him for this to uh, last week, and uh, he just did it today. So, yeah. thank you for everything, and. Uh, we are super excited for the matchup yeah. and, and few things about what, what they said. He didn't say that under what song he will go out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There should be but something. Should be. I don't know. Like, a, hmm. <laughs> ACDC any, is understood. May, 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 maybe Eye of a Tiger, you know, <laughs> like uh, Rocky. <laughs> Rocky. Yeah. For uh, for for Mindaug, it's just some some new song, <laughs> some, <laughs> some some something new, popular. But um, it it. You know what what he said about uh, the f the funny thing was about twelve year old girl. <laughs> Janis never said that. Janis never said that. No, we were we were, we were pra having practice with Mindaugas and we were uh, talking about strong and weak points. And uh, at, at this at this thing, I said if 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 you will be able to stop Engin Terzi in more or less good position, you have a chance. <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, Mindaugas, Mindaugas is keeping his uh, pre-fight uh, trash talk and, and, and 
and he adds some extra extra, extra fire to <laughs> extra this fire, yeah. so, uh, we will we will see is, is it really true so and i hope engin is not uh, <coughs> sending me <laughs> angry messages you know? yeah yeah in whatsapp some <laughs> Your next, messages, yeah, next, yeah, and it's your next, next like <laughs> twelve years girl. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, about about that fight, I'm I'm really looking forward, and uh, I'm bo- both I, I, I'm familiar with both of those arm wrestlers. They are really good friends, and uh, we we know them very really well. I mean, yeah, it's, is, it's nice to watch all both of them. Yeah. It, it's not about hate. We're not talking. We're no. not hating on anyone, but. Uh, I can say some, let's say left arm, I think Engin will dominate. Yeah. Uh, I, I think it will go 5-0 or 4-1. In, yeah. in a worse scenario, it will be 4-1. I think it's five rounds, five rounds? It's five rounds, yeah. Five rounds. First of all, I will support both of them. Yeah. I, I really I really enjoy watching Mindaugas Terasitis. He's, he's a quality on table. He's well-rounded. I, I like his top roll style. He's, he's uh, our neighbor neighbor country, our brother country, Lithuanian, uh, and uh, he's he's young, he's confident. I really like his style. Engin Terzi, I know him for many years. He's one of my of one of my all time favorite arm wrestlers. His hand control is incredible. His uh, ability on table, what he's what he has done in three decades of arm wrestling. That's that's. Uh, yeah, we, we we know he backs up everything I, I, he says. I fair well, can say he's uh, he's uh, one of best or best lightweight arm wrestler ever, and uh, he's still at age forty plus active and uh, st- last year world from, champion from, and uh, he's challenging best best lightweights. That's great. Engin's Engin's wife is Latvian. My student Sigita Terzi, so. He he had some uh, connections with with uh, Latvians as well. Yeah. I, I really su- will support both of them. Yeah. I would like to see some good match, good fight, and I hope it will uh, winner will, will will be clear only after last round. But if fair for left arm, left arm, I would say five zero or four one Engin Terzi. Yeah. With left arm, I really so, don't sorry, see sorry, Mind, much. It was just like. Much yeah, chances for yeah, Mindaugas. M- Mindauga wasn't uh, showing a good performance in World and Zloty with his left arm. Yeah. Engin was. Yeah. You know, in Worlds maybe not as much as in uh, Zloty Tour, but he was phenomenal in Zloty Tour. So mm-hmm. I- I'm going to give it to Engin. Yeah. About the right arm, I think it's going to be a little bit more closer. But uh, I think Engin going to come really strong, really prepared. He knows how to work those angles. He he sees the weak points, he's going to attack them. And I think, in, in my opinion, it's going to mm-hmm. go 3-2. It, yeah. The best scenario would be 3-2, but for Engin. Yeah. Yeah. I think it will be, again, 5-0 <laughs> or 5-1 <laughs> for Engin Terzi. I, I, don't see, I don't see that uh, Mindaugas can top roll Engin. Yeah. I don't see that Mindaugas can get inside and hook Engin. Yeah. So, I don't think he wants to hook him. I think he wants so, to stop uh, him. So, yeah. what's, what's, what's chance for him? Yeah. He cannot if to he do, cannot this, take to do, his do arm, the same what he did in his lottery tour. I don't think stop, stop no, no, him no, no. in a the, no, no, no. He can will he go can, r- straight to Engin, Engin's yeah. hand? Engin's, Engin's rotator is so good, I don't see Mindaugas yeah. uh, took uh, able to do his no. So, if, so uh, for me, only chance that uh, somewhere in this defensive position near near to pad, Mindaugas stops. Maybe with straight straight wrist, maybe with a little bit dead wrist, yeah. he stop and and hold. And if he is able to pull back from this position, from, from then on, he yeah, could yeah. be in a fight. Yeah. But uh, if not, that's but, it. But it's five zero four if, one. If you know, if I was in same position as Engin, I know the way I lost. I would train really hard not to get in that position and win from that position. Mm-hmm. And and Engin is unbelievably smart on table. He knows, he knows almost everything. He knows. All the things you need to do so i think he will be very ready and uh we don't know about me the mean the train with us his right arm is very yeah, good very it's good. very good very, good. very strong mm-hmm. and i i really hope he will not try to do the same thing if he'll the worst scenario if he tries to do the same thing he did in zloty tour it, it will not work out like he did with um with with uh, daniel prokopchuk where he thought that he can hold and, 
and, and it went yeah, but really it's, di it's, diff it's different with Engin. A different style. It's yeah. a, it's it, I'm saying that Engin will win uh, five zero or four one, but uh, if Mindaugas stops the first fight, yeah. Then it could go all the way around. It's, yeah. It could be yeah. zero five and uh, in in favor of uh, yeah. Mindaugas. So, so left arm. I, I predict that the Engin will, will win. Yeah. So, but I want to see two two, yeah. and uh, <laughs> last match, last, last round as a champions round. Yeah. Uh, that's that's what I hope for. Yeah. I hope for a really good fight and for a good show. Yeah. But we will see. Engin is cutting down some weight. Minda will need to eat up some weight. To Not too much. Seven, he's, he's around, he's walking around seven, 73. So 72, yeah. It will be close. So if, if you have a chance and you, you actually... You, have a chance. You yeah. need to have a chance yeah. and you need to need to watch this fight. If, if you're a fan of arm wrestling, you should not miss this matchup. Yeah. We, we cannot stress how, how important this is. Arm wrestling isn't just about heavy weights. It's about quality. You can... From watching those good matchups where the guys are really good and technical, you can learn a lot of things. You can learn, mm -hmm. and and from from big guys who are just smashing someone, you cannot learn anything except like how strong he is. Yeah, and that's it. 